Hello friends, today we are going to study about laws of exponent or you can say laws of power and exponents. First, we should know why we should study about power and exponents. Why this concept came into math mathematics. Actually, uh, when they were doing calculation many a times, they were getting many same numbers like 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 times or 10 times or 20 times. Then it will be difficult for them to write this number 20 times. So they decided that we find out some short numbers or short form so that our calculation becomes easy. So 2 into 2 into 2 into 2, 5 times is there. So instead of 2 is 2 into 2, 5 times, they can write 2 raised to 5. 2 raised to power of 5. This 2 is called base 5. You can call it power also, you can call it exponent, or power or exponent, whatever it is. In simple word, we say 2 raised to the power of 5 or 2 raised to 5. Now, there are a few laws which they had made to make this calculation so simple and so easy. I am going to explain you one by one all the laws with one practical example or first law. That is a raised to m into a raised to n gives you a raised to m plus n. What actually it is? If I say 2 into 2 into 2, 3 times means 2 raised to 3. Multiply with 2 raised 2 into 2 into 5 times means 2 raised to 5. So, total how many 2s are there? 8. We come to know that 2. And 3 times 2, 5 times total 2, 8 times. So instead of doing this, if we directly add the power, means 2 raised to 3 plus 5 will give you 2 raised to 8. So simple, same way, second law a raised to m divided by a raised to m. You can write a raised to m upon a raised to m, both are same division or up. What we have to do? Actually, we have to subtract a raised to m minus m. How it is there? If I say 3 raised to 5 upon 3 raised to 2. So, if I will write 5 to 3 into 3 into 3, 5 times in numerator and 2 times in denominator, 2 I will cut. So, 3 will be remaining. So, directly instead of doing that, we can directly do 3 raised to 5 minus 2, 3 raised to 3. For third law, that is a raised to m upon b raised to m. If numerator and denominator having the same power, we can directly write down a raised upon b whole raised to m. The same thing 2 raised to 5, 3 raised to 5, I am writing. So directly we can say 2 by 3 whole raised to 5. Or vice versa, if power is there, we can distribute this, this power to the numerator also and denominator. You can use it as vice versa also. Now, fourth law. That is A raised to M whole raised to N. Means two times power having a power. So that will be A M N. Means multiplication. If I say two raised to three and Again, that will be 2 times. So, how many 2 raised to 3 into 2 raised to 3, 2 times. To total, if you will add, this will become 2 raised to 6. So, instead of doing this, they directly multiply this. 3, 2 is 6. 2 raised to 6. Same way. Now, fifth law. That is A raised to M into B raised to M. Means, if your base are different and power is same what you can do you can directly multiply the base a b raised to m means 2 raised to 5 into 3 raised to 5 you can say 3 2 into 3 raised to 5 means 6 raised to 5 similarly we can solve 6 below that is a raised to 0. Whenever your power is 0, 
so you know, there is no such type of number having power zero so always directly you have to write one anything raised to zero gives you one seventh law negative power means a raised to minus n so power cannot be negative you cannot express any power in negative so what do you, you have to remove this negative power whenever it is in numerator negative power is in numerator you have to take it in denominator means a raised to minus n will become 1 upon a raised to n if the power is negative in numerator a raised to minus n then we have to take it in sorry power is in denominator negative in denominator so we have to take it in numerators okay this is slow. now one more is there this is the last solo if they say root is the root A root means what if we want to remove this root directly we have to write in fraction half it can be root under root 3 also then a raised to 1 by 3 if 4 in the place of root you can write a raised to 1 by 4 so these are the simple laws which you have to follow and you have to find out the answers so these are the laws for power and exponents if you will follow this you can easily get the answer if you like my video please subscribe to my channel so that i will bring more such videos for you thank you so much for watching my video thank you